We are so excited to present this next performer, Tommy Sands. I first met Tommy in 1996 when he came to Anchorage to perform in our very first Irish music festival. He lodged with us while he was here, and we had many lovely nights hearing stories over adult beverages. On a lark, I contacted him to see about including him here on the main stage, and even though I figured he might not remember me, his response was a hearty yes, and he remembered and would love to be included. This County Down singer, songwriter, and social activist has achieved something akin to legendary status in his own lifetime. From the pioneering days with the highly influential Sands family, bringing Irish music from New York's Carnegie Hall to Moscow's Olympic Stadium, he has developed into the, one of the most powerful songwriters and enchanting, <coughs> he has developed into one of the most powerful songwriters and enchanting solo performers in Ireland today. His songs like There Were Roses and Daughters and Sons, which have been recorded by Joan Baez, Kathy Matea, Dolores Keene, Sean Keene, Frank Patterson, and Dick Gaugan, the Dubliners, and many others, have been translated into many languages and are currently included in the English language syllabus in German secondary schools. Although constantly performing on stages all around the world, he prides himself in taking his music down from the lights and into the darker corners of society. One of his current projects, teaching underprivileged prisoners in Reno, Nevada, to write their own songs with which they defend themselves in court, is currently creating a widespread stir in the world of community art in the United States. Back home in Northern Ireland, he has just completed a CD written with Protestant and Catholic school children about their own areas in towns and villages around Northern Ireland. During the Good Friday Agreement talks, his impromptu performance with a group of children and lambeg drummers was described by Northern Ireland Deputy First Minister Seamus Mallon as a defining moment in the peace process. Now please welcome to our main stage, Tommy Sands coming to you from Mayo Bridge, County Down. Hello, Tommy Sands here, and delighted to be taking part in the Galway Days Festival in Anchorage in Alaska. I'd love to be over there in actuality, but uh, this is the, the virtual version of myself. And you're very welcome into my house too. I'm putting a few things together and I just wanted to say uh, hello to you all and sorry I can't be with you in reality. A few songs. Uh, since Galway Days is the name of the festival, I thought I'd try a song. First time I've ever sung it actually. It's a beautiful song from Galway. It's the old Galway Bay, as it's called around here. And it's a song of emigration. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it. I learned it from Dolores Keane, beautiful singer and a wonderful friend. So I hope you enjoy it all. Lovely to be in touch with you. And maybe some of these days, in reality, we'll, we'll all meet up again. Thank you very much indeed. Bye-bye. <laughs> Youth's 
blood and hopeful mood and a heart of fire once more for all the gold the earth could hold I'd never leave your shore I'd be content with whatever God sent its neighbors old and gray and lay my bones neath churchyard stones beside you go away bay the blessings of the poor old man be with you night and day the blessings of a lonely man this heart will soon be clay there's all the heaven I ask of God upon my dying day my soul to soar forever Galway Bay. Beautiful song I learned from Dolores Keane from County Galway. And I suppose America has always been very important for Ireland and very important for so many places. People went in hard times and found the welcome there. Uh, and sometimes it was very hard for people to realise they would never be back home again sometimes. Many died of homesickness, but still, without America, I don't know what we'd have done. This is a new song I wrote, uh, taking a look at the American dream. Many people had it. Uh, it wasn't a dream for the minuscule few to gain a millionairehood, but it was the dream for the millions of many to gain a livelihood. And the song is about that. Hope you like it. I'm a son of a son of a lonely man Lost his home, lost his land Floating on the ocean where the cold wind blows Here he found the home he danced with the daughter of an Indian brave To the drum of the son of an African slave Felt the shame, shared the pain Dreamed a better world Bring back America Bring back all the dreams we had Floating on the ocean when the cold wind blows Bring my country home And I grew the Constitution was my guide Freedom and equality Proudly we were told A heaven for the refugee Fleeing war and poverty But now my country's lost at sea Searching for a soul Bring back America Bring back all the dreams we had Floating on the ocean when the cold wind blows Bring my country home The dollar said, in God we trust But God, you didn't trust too much The guns of war that came out first before consulting thee Rolling in the raging gale May winds of kindness fill your sails I want my country back again Bring my country home Bring back America Bring back all the dreams we had Floating on the ocean when the cold wind blows Bring my country home Dream, the pr-
property of who can be a billionaire His only care is freedom to get more Of the dream I sing for you and I Try and hide this ticket by Echoes of a human cry Like strangers on the shore I'd like to give you a song. It's the first song, they say, ever to be sung in Ireland. And people talk about Chaucer being the grandfather of literature in these islands. The song goes way back to 500 BC, according to the old stories. My father knew a lot of these stories. His mother was Irish speaking. She came from the wild hills of Cooley over there. And uh, before we went to school, he used to say things like, before you go to school and learn about what happens in books. You have to learn what happened before books were written. And so began an old testament of songs and stories handed down and changed around and in time and telling. Facts, figures changed, but truths remained, like some old secret cure for the future. And this song comes from the first humans that came to Ireland. Ireland was inhabited by the spirit people, the two of the Denon. And one day, three of their goddesses was out walking, Banba, Fulu, and Erin. And they were admiring the beauty of the landscape and the power of the ocean. And suddenly they heard an extra swish in the waves. And what was it? But a boatload of humans, human beings above all people. They'd heard about these people. Can we come in? They said. You can, providing you call the place after us. Well, to this day, the poetic names for Ireland are Banba and Fulu, and the name for Ireland itself is Erin. But anyway, the two of the Danon said, You can't do that. You can't come in just like that. We have to prepare a welcome for you, a kid meal of fortune. Well, the welcome they prepared was a storm. Blew the boats up in the air. The Malaysians, because that's who they were, they said to their bard, Amrigan, save us, save us from the storm. Sing the song, sing the song. And so began the song that was supposed to be the first song ever sung in Ireland. And I will try to give you a version of it today. It begins in ancient Irish. He stood up and he faced the storm and he began. Am gwihim yor am don trahan am fuamaram fuamaram I am wind on sea I am wave on the ocean I am the roar of the thundering deep, the thundering deep. I am an eagle on the cliffside. I am a stag of seven battles. I am a wild bull in valor, a wild bull in valor. I am a tear let fall by the sun. I am a lake in the emerald plain. I am a salmon in the river deep, in the river deep. Who, if not I, know the reason for stones on the mountain? Who, if not I, know the moon and the secrets of sunset? Who, if not I, know the secret of things that are silent? 
Who, if not I, am the tree and the lightning that strikes it? Who, if not I, am the song and the singer that sings it? Who, if not I, am the storm and the camera of storms? The camera of storms. So the storm died down, the seas came. And the winds were at ease with themselves. And the old people say that was the first song ever sung in Ireland. And people wonder to this day what is that song about? People say it is a boast. No. Learned speculation today would say that it was associating with what was there before you came, with nature. The two of the Danon probably had heard about human beings coming and wrecking and tearing. They upset things with their coming. So Amergan, the bard, had to associate with nature. I am wind and sea. It's a very old song, but in many ways it's very relevant to today because storms come back to us in different ways if we do not connect with the nature around us. I'm going to sing you a song that I wrote when I was up walking in the trees here during the worst part of the lockdown and we couldn't associate with anybody. And it's called Love in Isolation. Thank you. 
I hear your voice in the songbird's harmony. You are far away, and yet so near to me. Keep safe.